What is up, Crackhead Nation? It's the Girl Princess Galaxy and happy 2020. Can you hear the echo? Hopefully not, because today I am in El Baño. And if you don't understand Spanish, I don't because I got a D minus out of it in high school. I am in my bathroom. I'm going to start my new year off by doing something that I haven't really done before. So I just randomly thought of this while I was like hungover on Christmas Day. Um, and I was like, I want to rank EXO albums because I've been at EXO well for like six years. Okay, I've been through all the trauma, all of this, the bullshit, and I am here now, standing tall, broke. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be going through every single one of EXO's albums, not including their live albums or their SM stations or the little subunits and stuff. We're just doing the E X. Oh, albums and we're not making it more complicated than that okay because they already have like 17 albums okay so i have five categories for the albums that i'm going to be ranking today i have number one the untouchables which is like the pinnacle the magnum opuses of exo discography then underneath that we have god tier which is like iconic albums that like I wouldn't skip, but they aren't like untouchable, like fourth dimension shit, you know what I mean? Next we have It's a Bop, which means it's like, it's a cute album, it's okay, you know, it's not anything crazy, but it's like, eh, it's, it's okay. And it's cute, which is basically like, I wouldn't listen to it willingly again, but I do acknowledge that there are some bops on the album. And the last tier, which is just choke. I mean, like, I couldn't, <laughs> I don't think any EXO album is going to, like, be in this category. I don't think so. I haven't really gone through these. Like, I've looked at them, and I, I know, like, EXO albums, but it's like, I don't hate EXO, so I can't really find the reason for anyone to be in the just choke category, but I named it that because it's fun, and I do what I want, so let's start. So I'm going to start from the beginning, the OG, the first mini album, Mama. Now, when I think of Mama, I don't really have like great memories of it because I wasn't a fan of EXO until Overdose and once I learned about EXO, I found out about Mama and I was like, I don't think I'm going to listen to this again. But I know there are some legendary songs off this album like What Is Love, okay that's a dope ass track. We have Angel, that's a really nice song, Machine, Mama Mama Machine. It's a cute album, but... Two moons though. Hey yo, what up, Reese? Hey yo, what's up? Like, I'm sorry, I just can't give two moons a pass. Half these songs I don't like. Mama, like the title track. I always say, if I would have found out about EXO during the Mama era, I wouldn't have stand because it just, it's not. So Mama, I mean, already off the bat, I think I'm just gonna put it under like it's cute because it doesn't offend me that much, but offends me enough to be not. It's a bop. So, <laughs> all right, moving on to EXO's first full-length album, EXO, EXO. EXO, EXO, I think EXO, EXO is a pretty, pretty solid album. They have a lot of bops, like, oh my god, Let Out The Beast. That was my shit. Let Out The Beast was fucking iconic, okay? <laughs> no one could touch Let Out The Beast. I know a lot of people like Peter Pan and Baby. I don't really like Peter Pan or Baby. They're just kind of boring, stale songs. Like, they're cute and they fill out that role of like the cutesy song, but I don't really like it. I like songs like Black Pearl and stuff, and even Wolf, like, oh my god, Wolf. Like, my favorite songs off of this are probably Heart Attack and Let Off the Beast and Black Pearl. The bangers, I mean, my taste is so strong. So, I think out of all these rankings, I'm probably gonna end up putting it under It's a Bop because it's not God tier, but it's also not as bad as Mama. All right, so the next album we have is the XOXO Repackage, which includes Growl. Okay, I don't like Lucky. That song irritates me. Growl, it was a grower. It was a grower, not a shower. <laughs> 2020, baby. So I'm gonna put Growl at the same as XOXO because the addition of new songs doesn't offend me enough to not have it on the list. All right, the next album in order is... Miracles of December. Now, Miracles of December is EXO's first winter album, Christmas album, if you will. I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you ever seen a group, I don't care, a K-pop group or any other group, have a literal Photoshop picture of them transforming into a fucking tree on their album cover? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know and I'm a lot. Wrong 
fandom, but you get what I'm saying. When it comes to the album, so we have Miracles of December, Christmas Day, which is really good. The star is kind of like, then we have My Turn to Cry, which just fucked me up. Um, the first note, so good. And then we have Miracles in December, classical orchestra version. Every time I listen to the classical orchestra version of Miracles in December, it made me think I was like, just in an enchanted like dream where I was like rich and like I had like some like luxurious party and I was playing it in the background while all the guests like chitter chattered and had banter and I'm just like, I'm playing K-pop in the background of my fancy apartment party. One day, guys. One day. <laughs> You're all invited, by the way. Woohoo. So, even though I like Miracles of December, it's not offensive. At the same time, it's not... Is it God tier? Is it God tier? I mean, I have so many more albums left. God damn. I thought it would be easy because I've listened to these songs so much, but like it's actually really hard. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna put Miracles in December under the Bob. Just for now, okay? Obviously, when you change, I think, because I mean, look at all these other albums we got down here. We got like, goddamn, you know, so. So the next album we have is Overdose, which is personally one of my favorite albums of EXO's, and actually the first comeback that I was a part of, and also the last comeback of OT12. Let's all take a moment of silence right now to honor our fallen soldiers. Okay, we're done. So Overdose, I think, Overdose is one of EXO's best mini albums. It's like one of the first K-pop albums I listened to where I was like, I I would not skip any song. Like, I would literally just let it play through. You know what I mean? We have Overdose, fucking great lead single. One of EXO's best lead singles. Then we have Moonlight, um, baby making track. When I first heard it, I thought it was about fucking. Turns out it's not about fucking, but I'm still gonna think it's about fucking because I'm American and I don't care about Korean lyrics most of the time. Then we have Thunder, which is that part in Thunder where it's like, uh, and usually I don't care about Chinese versions of songs, but I'm gonna be honest and say that Overdose sounds way better in Chinese than it does in Korean. I'm just gonna say it because I was very XOM biased in the beginning of my fandomness, but you know, XOM kind of died. We know why. I we were just talking about it, but you know what I mean. We have Run, which just makes you feel so freaking good. Then we have Love, Love, Love. The Chinese version of Love, 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 superior. I don't care when Tao and Chris come up in there, and then Chris is like, look into your eyes. But, but, I feel like I'm being serenaded by two beautiful Chinese men. Like, we love to see it. Um, Rip, Chris, and Tao in EXO, but they thrive on their own, so I see you. Also, um, stream Chris and music. That's, that shit actually slaps. Tao, I don't know what he's doing, but I support him. Okay. So, I'm gonna put Overdose pretty high. So high, in fact, that I think we have our first untouchable. I think the fuck we do, bitch. Get your ass up there. Yes! Yes! Overdose is so good. I just keep thinking about it. Like, I know we just talked about it, but like, goddamn. <laughs> like, it's so good. Now we got one of my favorite fucking yeah. We have Exodus. I'm gonna cry. Like, I, <laughs> I love Exodus so much. It's like, so solid. I don't even need to talk about it. You know what? I don't even need to talk about it. Untouchable. It's number one. It's above overdose. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna keep overdose there. But I'm gonna keep because I was thinking about putting overdose into God tier. But I was like, that's a little, that's a little early for that. You know what I'm saying? Like we still got like a shit ton of content to go through. Just Exodus, guys. Come on, Exodus. Call me baby. They're dancing in this fucking warehouse. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't understand the concept of the video. I just know they were impregnating me. So you know what? And then Chino has that breakdown. What up? We got the iconic line, never don't mind about a thing. Then we go in with Transformer, a fucking amazing song. Like, everything about that song, this album is R&B heaven. This is like EXO at their best, like, oh my god. Um, my favorite songs off this album are probably Transformer, Shison Dur, like what if? El Dorado, so good. Exodus is really good. And Hurt, Hurt is like, wow, bitch. Like, have you seen them perform that live? Like, 
Also, the tour that coincided with this was probably one of my favorite besides Exordium. Exordium? Also, as a side note, do you guys think EXO is ever gonna like not be able to come up with words that have like E, X, and O in it for their tours? <laughs> I think this is Exolution. Let me know, me and Post. Oh, me. You were so right. Good job. So, I love this album. It's incredibly solid and it is number one for now. So, now we have the Exodus repackage, which is the Love Me Right repackage. And um, so, when I first heard Love Me Right, I can just tell off the bat that I didn't like it. Even though it had kind of like that R&B and that like, it wasn't like swing. It doesn't sound like swing music, but it's like, you know, it's like supposed to get you in a good mood. It's like, okay, like it's cute. And then we have Tender Love. Tender Love's okay. I don't like it. It's a little boring. I don't like songs that sound like that. So even though I put Exodus at the top in the Untouchables, I think I'm going to have to put the Love Me Right repackage. I'm gonna do It's Cute. Just because of the additional song. But the album as a whole though. You know what? This is my list, okay? I. It's here, and I'm gonna put it above Mama. I'm sorry, Mama. This makes me sound like I hate Mama. I don't, it's just, out of all of EXO's albums, it's just kind of meh. Okay, next one. Don't be sad for this, don't be sad. Okay. Next one, I'm pretty sure is a Christmas album. Yes, yeah, so we have Sing For You, which is a great album. So much talent is there. My favorite part of the Sing For You era was um, the music video, where Chanyo punches Suho, and it's definitely not a punch. Like. <laughs> So that whole album was like, it was okay, it was fine. I like Unfair and On the Snow, so I'm gonna put Sing For You. It's definitely not God tier. I'm gonna put it under It's A Bop. I'm gonna put it in between XOXO and Ururum. Actually, while I'm here, <laughs> I'm gonna move Ururum down. I, I don't like that, it just irritates me. Or if you're gonna if you're gonna give us a repackage, you better add good quality songs. I don't want extras, I don't want side pieces. Okay, I want full course meals up in this bitch. Okay, like I'm not playing around. Next we have Exact. Exact is another solid album. So they have Lucky One, which is a really nice song, and Monster, which were both title tracks, which is really nice because I don't think before that we really got a lot of dual title tracks from EXO. Comment um, your thoughts on everything because I want to see your guidance ranking. You can rank along with me. We gonna party. This is a party. You know what I'm saying? So going back to exactly how Lucky One Monster. Monster is probably my favorite title track, period. Um, we have Artificial Love. That's a really good song live. Have you guys seen that live? I think that was Exordium. And they had this performance where they were like humping canes. And I'm like, I'm traumatized because they're just literally just humping sticks. But also, where do I sign up to be a stick? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do I get that close to Chanel's <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> no, I'm not. So we have Cloud9, Heaven, White Noise, One and Only, They Never Know, and Stronger. This is one of those albums. Again, I would not skip any song off of this. My faves are definitely Monster, Cloud9, Artificial Love, They Never Know, and Stronger. So overall, it was a great era. The music videos were fucking banger. You know, it was just a really good time. So I'm gonna put it God tier. It's not untouchable, but it's also not, it's a bop, because it's more than a bop. It's a god bop. So we're gonna be moving on to the exact repackage, which is a <laughs> lipstick chateau white color. Da, 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 da. It's Lotto, it's Lotto, okay? Did you get that? It's Lotto. Okay, I forgot about Can't Breathe Me Now. That song is so good, bitch. Can't Breathe, Can't Breathe Me Down, period. Period, period. If I ever see someone sleeping on Can't Breathe Me Down, we're gonna be catching, you're gonna be catching these hands. I can't fight but you might be able to hold my hands and you'll catch them. And then I'm gonna give you a stern talking to about what songs you should be standing. I think a lot, I don't really like Lotto as like a, as a single, but I do think that just because of Can't Bring Me Down, I think that I'm going to put Lotto, I'm just gonna keep it below exact, above XOXO. That doesn't feel right, like in my heart. You know what, we're just gonna move on. So next we have For Life. For Life, wait, did I put that up there already? No, I chewed the wrong picture for um, Sing For You. Let's place that real quick. I still put the wrong album. I still put the wrong album. All right, we back. 
So we have for life, which is okay. I don't remember it. It's kind of boring. Like this whole album is fine. The only song I really like is 24 and then Winter Heat. And look up the lyrics for that. Is that song about fucking? No, it's not. This song is suppressed. This is not about fucking. This is sad. This is making me sad. I don't like it. Okay, we're turning it off. Okay, you know what? For life. Hmm, it's a little boring. But for 24 though, I'm gonna put for life above mama and below love me right repackage because I don't want to choke it. I don't want it to choke. It's it's okay enough. You know what I mean? All right, so we have the war. So we have the Eve, which is <laughs> fucking great song, which should have been the title track. Fuck Coco Bop. Fuck it in the ass. Honestly, <laughs> that sounds like an insult. But compared to the Eve, <laughs> is there even a competition? Honestly, Coco Bop was pretty good. It was. A, it's definitely a Coco Bop. <laughs> what you do is pretty good. Even though the spelling always confused me because it's like what you and then do is it uppercase. But whatever. I don't. I'm American. I don't actually know English. We pretend to know English because we're illiterate, so we can speak it, but we can't write it. <laughs> now that I think about it, I feel like I was being kind of mean earlier. This this album is actually pretty solid. Actually, I think I like this album more than I thought. I'm going to be putting it, I believe, I'm gonna put a god tier. I mean, why not? Why not? You know, actually, I'm gonna put it above the lotto repackage, but I'm not gonna put it above exact. Okay? <laughs> know your limit. All right, so next we have this we have the war repackage the power of music listen okay listen up i'm a nice person this whole time i've been pretty nice but this this album no i don't like anything about it okay that's actually a lie the concept was kind of cool like oh they're like comic book characters but it was just like no. So we have power. We have sweet lies. Sweet lies is good. I don't know what happened, how it got here, but sweet lies is. And then we have boomerang. I have not heard boomerang in a while. I'm gonna listen to it real quick. We're not playing that. Okay, you know what? This is gonna be the first album that like self in the just choke category. It's like honestly, like who? No, just choke. Just choke. It sounds like I want someone to die. Is this an album, guys? Okay, is this an album? The power does nothing for me. It's not that it's a shitty album, but it's the fact that it just doesn't, it, there's nothing there. You know, it's not like an exact where it's like, it's just good shit all across the board. It's just like, I just don't like it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next we have Universe, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about at all. But it's just like, no. We're just putting this at the bottom. Nothing memorable about this. No substance, really. Alright, so we have Don't Miss Up My Tempo. So obviously we have Tempo. Then we have Sun, Ooh La La, Gravity, With You, 24-7. Bad Dream, Damage, Smile on My Face, and Oasis. So, listening to this album, I had a few realizations. One was that SM did not care about EXO anymore. <laughs> because I don't know what happened here. I don't know. So we have Tempo, which is like, it grew on me. Like when I first heard it, I was like, okay, this is like nice. But obviously I didn't like it that much because I'm like, I just don't like songs like that. I like songs like Monster and like, um, The E that are kind of like in your face and very like bombastic. Bombastic? Oh my god, my private school is showing. So when I first heard Tempo, I was like, eh, okay. Sign is a good song. I like Sign because it's like, do 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 do, da 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 da. Alright, so we are going to put Tempo, definitely not God tier, but you know what? It's a bop. I'm gonna put it above XOXO. No, actually, what am I thinking? To be above Rose in the Summer or below? We're gonna put it above. It's a little more memorable and iconic. <laughs> Just a little more. Next, we have Love Shot. It's the Love Shot. We got, we got a little more going on. Okay, I really like Love Shot and Trauma. Trauma's good. I'm gonna listen to it again. It's not a little refresher. And then that's a go, gentlemen, but sorry. <laughs> When I first heard Love Shot, I didn't really like it. I still don't really like it at all. So for the last album on this list, which is Love Shot, we 
as in me, are going to be putting Love Shot. Definitely not God tier or the Untouchables. Hell no. But I think of Love Shot, I'm like, it's cute, right? Should it be below Love Me Right? Does it deserve that emotional scrutiny? You know what? I'm putting it above Love Me Right. Just because Love Me Right just annoys me. So that is the ranking. Whoa. Okay. I did not expect this. Actually, I kind of did. So we have the Untouchables, which is Exodus and Overdose. So under God tier, we have Exact, The War, and Lotto Repackage. Under It's a Bop is the XOXO first album, Sing For You. I'm doing this as Sing For You. The way you cry, the way you smile. Then we have Tempo. Like I said, it's not a terrible album. It's just for me, it, it, it doesn't hit different like Exodus. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it's cute. That's it, it's cute. It's a bop. After tempo, we have Miracles in December, which will be a legendary XOL Christmas time bop album. And we have um, Uderong, which is the first album we package. Under It's Cute is Love Shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Love Shot, sweetie, but I must do this. <laughs> the next is Love Me Right Repackage. Next we have For Life, and then we have Mama. I couldn't imagine putting a ma Mama any higher. What? Mama's going over the, over over the. Cause the only reason why I like this is because of Twenty Four. Like I'm just gonna be so honest. Like For Life, sorry girl, you're going at the bottom. And under Just Choke, which is the unfortunate last year, even though it's colored green. We have the Power Lee package and this winter album, Universe. Actually, I'm gonna put Obsession on this list. Hold on, let me think about it. We have Obsession, Trouble, oh my god, okay. Obsession, when I first heard it, I did not like it, but every song, every song on this album is good. Like, it's fucking a banger. Like, Trouble? Oh my gosh, huh? Also, I didn't realize how much I would miss Neo's vocals until I heard the Obsession album because I feel like a lot of his vocals could fit so well into like non-stop and day after day and butterfly effect. Like, oh my god, butterfly effect is so good. Like that and Jekyll, bitch. I want to see the minds of tour so bad. Check me out! Hmm, where would Obsession go on this? It's definitely above, it's a bop. It's either Untouchables or God tier. I think it's going on the Untouchables. Wow, wow! So I would put Obsession at the end of the Untouchables. So that is my official order. Damn. We did it, kids. I never thought this day would come where I would actually be able to rank EXO albums and not cry. Actually, I'm kind of crying up. I'm like tearing up a little bit. Like, I love EXO so much. <laughs> okay, I'm about to cry. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, please let me know. I'd love to make more. There's a lot of different like tier things on this site and like they have a lot of k-pop so i was very surprised so if you want to see me rank boy groups and girl groups and bts and discography that'd be really cool i'd love to do that but if you guys enjoyed this video in any way just leave a comment like subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter i do so much crackhead shit over there and subscribe for a new video every friday and maybe some in between never know i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon Bye! <laughs>